Okay, today I'm going to be popping Stretch Armstrong in the vacuum chamber. But first, in order to get him to puff up, we need to heat him up. And I'm gonna do that in the microwave. So you're gonna get to see Stretch Armstrong in the microwave and then in the vacuum chamber. So he's actually filled with high fructose corn syrup. So if you ever get a leak in him, beware because your kids might eat him. So before I put in Stretch Armstrong, let's first put in solid sugar. Here's what just dry sugar looks like in the microwave. And if I fill the sugar, it's not even warm at all. So now let's see what happens if we make the sugar a liquid first. Liquid sugar in the microwave, three, two, one. Look at that, it's melting. It's reacting just like when I had the blowtorch on it now. So you can see the melted sugar was now able to absorb the microwaves and essentially the sugar molecules were able to vibrate back and forth, back and forth, heating it up. Whereas when it was just the solid crystal, it didn't heat up at all. So the same thing that happened here can also happen with glass in the microwave. If you heat glass up to its melting point and then put it in the microwave, the microwave will continue to melt it. Steve Mould showed this in one of his microwave videos. So that brings me to Stretch Armstrong. So Stretch Armstrong now has the disadvantage that he has high fructose corn syrup in him, so the sugar inside of it is not in the crystal structure, so he is able to absorb microwaves quite well. So let's see what happens when you put his big sugar body in the microwave. Okay, Stretch Armstrong in the microwave. Three, two, one. I think he's starting to boil. Oh, he's boiling. Oh man. <laughs> he's shaking. He's hulking out on us. <laughs> oh man, he's getting big. Oh man. Okay, now he's just all jiggly. <laughs> So it's like he's just filled with water now. It's like he's a water balloon, a very hot water balloon. So now I wonder, now that he's just molten inside, I wonder what happens if I put him in the vacuum chamber. Let's check it out. <laughs> Whoa, we're at 0.3 atmospheres and he's just blowing up like a balloon.
<laughs> He's gonna fill the whole chamber, holy cow. You can see the liquid high fructose corn syrup degassing in there. <laughs> he filled the whole chamber. There's his little head in there. <laughs> That's awesome. It doesn't look like he's gonna pop. I was hoping he'd pop, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, now let's let the air back in. Three, two, one. Okay, a little jiggly still, but okay. Man, he's tough to destroy. Okay, so I have a tack taped to the top here. Let's see if we can pop him when he's inflated. Press tube recently did stretch Armstrong and everybody wanted him to pop, but he didn't pop in there. So let's see if we can pop him. Okay, popping stretch Armstrong in the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. There's my tax right there. <laughs> Look at him in there, <laughs> bubbling out. <laughs> That's awesome. That was so cool. Yep, I don't think he made it. He looks dead. <laughs> Look at all the corn syrup in there degassing. So cool. Okay, now let's let the air back in and see what it looks like. Three, two, one. Okay, here he is. <laughs> oh. Okay, I've got some cleaning up to do. <laughs> Look at that hole blown in him. That was awesome. <laughs> so this is what's inside him. Sticky, hot. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and you can hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. 
And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to get to them and I'll see you next time.